All right, cloud chasers and weather weary earthlings. Next on our cosmic tour, Kepler 7b. It's as hot as Jupiter, it's extraordinary, and the first exoplanet to have its clouds mapped. Yeah, that's right. Way back in 2013, scientists painted a weather forecast for a planet 1,000 light years away. So, no pressure, Noah. Kepler 7b is unusually reflective, like a cosmic disco ball, if you will. Most hot giants absorb light. This planet is really raising some eyebrows on the fact that it's reflecting it. So here's the magical bit. Kepler tracked brightness changes across three years. By analyzing visible and infrared phase curves, scientists deduced the bright side wasn't heat, it was clouds. So they saw bright reflections peaking not at noon, but slightly in the evening hemisphere. It's a signature of a patchy cloud drifting westward. For the first time, they could draw a low resolution cloud map for an alien world. And these clouds were likely made of silicate minerals, tiny droplets of molten rock. Now the question is, what makes these clouds stable? Got a couple of ideas. So low surface gravity lets them stay aloft. And the climate is surprisingly steady with little changes over the years. So this wasn't just cloud gazing either. It was a milestone. It was the first cloud map beyond our solar system. It proved phase curve analysis is a viable weather tool for exoplanets. And it also opened pathways to study cloud chemistry, the atmosphere circulation and climate stability on alien worlds. It also served as proof of concept for future studies by JWST, aerial and next gen missions targeting Earth-like planets. So the next time you complain about cloudy weather at home, just remember, you could be living on Kepler 7b where clouds are made of rock and storms don't come with an umbrella emoji option. So there's that.